The government's budget for 2022 focuses mainly on helping the economy recover from the pandemic, but there are other ambitious plans mostly involving the development of next-gen tech such as a lunar orbiter program and saving endangered species. Kim Zamin explains further. The government is injecting an additional 70 million U.S. dollars into its Luna exploration project next year as a project which has been running since 2016 will finally come to fruition. The country aims to launch an orbiting spacecraft to conduct a year-long mission to observe the moon, hoping that it'll provide information that can pave the way for future space exploration. Countries like Japan and China are trying a similar approach, and KPLO will be a good chance for South Korea to prove its space technology. First, it could show Korea's deep space satellite technology and its ability to operate it. Also, it's going to be a great opportunity to build systematic ways of collecting and sharing scientific data with other countries through cooperation. Some projects are aimed more at improving people's everyday lives. Around 2 million U.S. dollars has been set aside for a project using artificial intelligence to help people access legal information. The system using an AI program can help people find relevant information with much less time and energy, such as by simply typing, what should I do in a hit and run? And around $430,000 will be used to repair an artificial shelter for spotted seals living around Pyongyangdu Island. The 350-square-meter artificial resting area built two years ago will be good as new after the repair. If you have any interest in performing in front of the audience, whether it's jazz, traditional performance or a play, currently there's a project called Youth Microphone Project. It provides opportunities for young artists ages between 19 and 34 to perform and pursue their dreams. And next year, the government plans to expand that, spending $1.3 million to create a silver microphone project, the same exact format but for those over 60. A total of 100 groups will be selected to perform five times each. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.